expect you already know that you don't have to just paint watercolours on paper. New products like these watercolour grounds means that you can paint on canvas, wooden panels, well pretty much any surface. But you probably wish you could make your own rather than having to buy pots that are very expensive and really rather small. If you stick around I'll share my DIY watercolour ground recipe with you. My name is Liz Chatterton, I'm a professional artist based in Berkshire and every week I share a tip, trick or technique that I wish someone had told me when I started painting. This week it's all about how to make your own watercolour ground. So you can get all these watercolour grounds like this Daniel Smith one, Quo, um, Sennelier. You can get them but they're expensive and they come in very small jars so if you want to to paint a meter square canvas it's a pain and in some countries I know it's they're really hard to get hold of but you can substitute um, your own homemade watercolour ground which is one part of modelling paste to three parts of gesso. How easy is that? So I tend to use Galleria just because it's easy to get hold of and it's by volume so I'm putting a cup of gesso Scrape that out and obviously these measuring cups are not the ones I use for cooking. Ha ha. And then a third of a cup of modelling paste. And if you've never used modelling paste, it, it's kind of what it says. It, so it's a white paste. Whoops. It's very thick. You use it in acrylic painting to create texture. And you can see how thick that is. It's by volume so I need to smooth off my third of a cup to make sure that's full. Then add it to my mix and mix it really carefully so that there aren't any lumps of um, modelling paste sort of sitting in the thinner gesso and that is it. Really easy to make. Keep it in an airtight tub otherwise it will dry out and then to apply it you use three thin layers. Um, I tend to put mine on with um, a decorating roller so that you don't get brush marks. Obviously that's your choice what finish you want. So I put on a thin layer let it dry for about an hour, maybe sand it down if I want to, another thin layer, same again, another thin layer and then let it dry for 24 hours and then you can paint on it. 